The beauty of uh, the integration of 3D scanning and uh, 3D design and 3D milling is uh, the freedom of being able to combine or exclude parts of shapes. You're not locked uh, at a certain scale and in case you, you want to make a mold, you don't need to mill the, the positive. You can move directly to negative. That's a huge time saver. My name is Joachim Mollare. I run a company called Neoform. Neoform is a one-man workshop that I created to help artists, designers and architects in developing their ideas and manufacturing their visions. My specialty is robotic milling of models, molds and sculptures. So the customer might have a sketch, they might have a digital model or often a small sculpt. So in the case of a small sculpt, I can 3D scan this and uh, often refine it. Um, so basically Neoform is a one-stop solution for having models and molds made. The necessary tools to complete the job would be an industrial robot, of course, and uh, you need uh, the 3D design software and also the software to program the robot. And then uh, for scanning, you need a scanning solution. Uh, in my case, uh, the EinScan Age. It's been uh, six months since I got the Age 1. And uh, since then I've been doing small, regular scans. I've been doing big scans. Um, I've been indoors, of course, but also outdoors in quite challenging light conditions and uh, I'm getting consistent quality and it's a smooth experience. The EinScan has enabled me to offer professional 3D scanning as a service in my company. This scanner has improved the workflow significantly and uh, I get a lot more consistent results and uh, you get instant feedback also on the screen. That's what I like. It's uh, you know what you're getting while working. The, the biggest improvement with the EinScan H2 is uh, the infrared mode. I did a, a direct back-to-back -back comparison with the H1 and the, the first version, it works, it's functional. But uh, with the H2, it's, it's effortless. We start off with an original, in this case a sample of a piece of thick cloth. Um, it's going to be reproduced in bronze. The biggest challenge with uh, making uh, molds from soft uh, originals is that as soon as you touch it, it changes. With uh, 3D scanning, you, you never physically interfere with the shape, so it's a, it's a solution in this case. The first step is, of course, doing the scanning. It's a, it's a straightforward process and in maybe half an hour, you have a, a finished scan, which is really fast compared to uh, other method methods, uh, such as uh, photogrammetry, for instance. After scanning, it moves into post-processing. In this step, I usually rely on Blender. It's a nice open source uh, program that you can use to uh, fill holes and removing stray geometry in a scan. So I'm not, uh, I'm not always doing a straight copy of the original. For this, uh, Blender is great because you can, you can sculpt and you can smooth and you can edit shapes until you get the, the, uh, the impression you want. After the digital model is finished, it uh, needs to be split in pieces uh, suitable for milling. Uh, I set up the, the model, uh, the part to be milled and uh, the raw material 
uh, synced in a coordinate system with some control surfaces. After that, moving into uh, CAM software, uh, in my case I use uh, SprutCAM for ro the robot programming. Um, this involves uh, setting up different operations uh, from roughing to uh, medium finishing and uh, finally some uh, detail milling uh, to reach the, the, the smallest detail and cavities. I believe in using different methods and uh, tools to achieve what you imagine. But uh, art is about life. It's easy to get seduced by technology. Scanning is uh, probably going to be more common um, as an intermediate step for an artist, but it's, it's just a way to get there. So good art begins and ends with the, the human eye and hand.